Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I am with another new pen. Yes, I know. I just put out a new pen video maybe a week ago and I have a new pen here. Actually, there's two in here. Let's open this up. All right, so let's take all of this out here. And there's one and two. Okay. So as you can see, they are two Benu pens. Why do I have two Benu pens? Well, somebody was selling it on the virtual pen show on Instagram and it was such a good deal that I had to grab it. Now on top of that deal, I did pay a little bit extra for shipping, but then I also had to pay customs, but in the end it still ended up working out cheaper. So. I'm gonna zoom in. So let's open this first box. Actually, no, let's open this box first. And this one is the, another clamshell box <laughs> or another box. Basically with the, the new boxes, they're all cardboard and recyclable. So if you like that, then this will work for you. So this one is the, oh, this is the Venus hair. And this is in the talisman model. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So with any of the talisman models, it is written in here. Basically with any of the talisman models, what Banu actually do is, you know, the inspiration and substance added to the material of the pen is Venus's hair and the magical attribution ascribed in the myth is happiness, luck, and love. So all of their talisman pens will have some form of inspiration and substance added to that pen. So for example, they have Edelweiss. The other one I'm going to show you right away is Dream Bean. Yes, I spoiled that, sorry. Sorry, it came with the standard edition national cartridge and I'm gonna open up this one and then I'll show it to you as well. Now, whether I'm gonna keep both is another question. And this is Dream Bean. Beautiful, again, beautiful, but I'm only going to keep one of these and the other one I'm going to sell. Now, with Dream Bean, this one, the inspiration and substance added to the material of the pen is African dream beans. And the magical attribution is the power to predict the future and commune with the spirit world. So that is dream bean. And again, as you can see, these are both the talisman models with Bennu. And look at how just beautiful they are. So this one, I believe is an exclusive to True Fay Inc. Um, because they're the only ones who sell this. And then this one can be found at any retailer who actually sells Banu. So I'm going to do some size comparisons with other pens and then we will ink up one of these. So for size comparison, there is the Talisman Venus hair and I will share it with, let's see here, a Twisby Diamond 580, a Pelican M605 and then a Sailor Pro Gear Slim and oh now I have one of these to compare it to an Esterbrook SD and I'm pulling some others out here as well you've got the Sailor Pro Gear and then I'm also going to put in here a Pilot vanishing point so you can see the size comparisons now uncapped uncapped you can see that in terms of length the talisman is very similar in length if not just a hair shorter than the twisby diamond 580 it is definitely longer than the pelican m605 and longer than the sailor pro gear slim and now it is very similar in length to the Estrabrook SD and definitely larger than the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. In terms of weight, when it is capped, it is 21 grams and then uncapped, it makes for a nice 13 gram pen. And then in terms of how many turns it takes to uncap, got one, two, 
two and a half, which to me, it doesn't actually really matter how many turns it takes, but two and a half looks, feels like it's getting to be a little bit much. And then what you've got inside is the standard Schmidt Iridium nib. And then inside it as well comes the standard international converter. And what you will notice about my little review today or unboxing today is that I don't have a Benu Euphoria to compare this to. The reason is I ended up selling that to help fund this purchase. Now, one of the things with the talisman is that you can see that in the body, it's not completely smooth. And my, my brain is like having a brain fart right now and I can't remember the, the facets. Here we go. <laughs> they have the facets in here so that even if you didn't have, if it wasn't capped, it kind of rolls around, but then it stops at a certain place. And then in terms of the clip, then you have an excellent, excellent clip. Now, how does this feel in my hand? I actually tried my friend's talisman Edelweiss and I love how this felt in my hand. I write normally with pens unposted and this feels perfect in my hand. Now in the section and oh my gosh, you told me what the collar. Yes, this collar, there's a tiny little step up to the collar between the nib, but nothing to, um, what was the word I was going to say? Nothing too big of a difference here. And then in the section as well, it is transparent, so you can kind of see through that here. But with this pen, the cap band as well as the section are the same color for the Venus hair, whereas with the Dream Bean, they are both the same. So they are black, the cap band and the section. And then in terms of the actual threads themselves they are not at all sharp I mean I will probably end up resting my hand or my fingers there and that's not sharp at all and then there's barely like a very very tiny small step up from the section to the body which I actually prefer this size feels so much better in my hand than the euphoria does the euphoria is a bigger pen but I felt that the way the facets were in the body and just the way that it was girthier and bigger, just was uncomfortable for my hand. So I think the Talisman model is going to be the perfect Bennu model for me. Now with the Venus hair, just look at the detail in, in here and all of that sparkle. Now I know for some people, this is not for you, but there, I feel like there are different levels of sparkle and shimmer with Bennu. And if you're going to compare, for example, Dream Bean to Venus Hair, Dream Bean is a little bit more understated than Venus Hair. And uh, if you were wanting a Banu, but not something that was just so in your face, Dream Bean is a good one as well, I think. So oh, they're both so, so stunning. So now I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to ink it up with Robert Oster Peach Robert Oster Gold Antica and I cannot decide because well, they're both Robert Oster which is fine but maybe that will go yeah I f and, but I mean this I already have a brown I think inked up for the month or do I want Gold Antica mm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know I cannot decide Right, and just a quick note that I know some people do like to post their pens and you could certainly post this pen and it does post pretty well and securely, but I don't normally post my pens. So, all right, so this is the Talisman in Venus. And this has a fine, it is a fine, right? Gosh, it doesn't say, but it is a fine. Schmidt steel 
nib. And it is currently inked with Robert Oster Peach. And let's check the wetness. Pretty wet and juicy. How does this? I can feel a bit of feedback on this. It's not scratchy, but I feel like there's some resistance to the nib. Now, you can certainly get a little bit of line variation, but it's not meant to do that. And then in reverse writing, scratchy and almost non-existent, so no reverse writing. So let's do a little bit more. Not bad. Overall though, I mean, I love the look of it, but in terms of the way the nib feels, it feels, I know it's the exact same nib that's on the Euphoria, but this one feels like it needs a little work or maybe it's the ink itself. I don't know, but I mean, maybe it could be the ink. Normally I'm, in, I'm so impressed with the Schmidt nibs, but maybe this one just needs a tiny bit of work. Maybe it's just what I've been getting recently. So I don't know. Yeah, or maybe it's the ink that's a little dry. Who knows? But I'm gonna definitely keep trying that one and this is gonna go into my currently inked for April. So there are my, I guess, two newest pens, but spoiler alert, I will not be keeping both. I will only be keeping the Venus here. Um, when I purchased this on Virtual Pen Show, the seller wasn't going to separate them. So I just said, you know, I'll buy both and then I will end up selling off uh, Dream Bean. So if you are interested in purchasing Dream Bean, I've left my email address in the description below and then we can, uh, you can email me and we can discuss that there. But I mean, it's a good quality pen. It's just, I don't need two of the same model with the same nib. But I am happy that I have a talisman because I feel like in terms of the Bennu models, this one fits my hand perfectly. If you do prefer a slightly smaller pen, and that's funny that I say that because I mean, there's certain pens that I like in the bigger size, but I'm finding that the specific size that I do like is, you know, the talisman size or the SD size, which I feel like, you know, the two in that size category are very similar. So yeah, you can see how similar they are in terms of their size and that just fits my hand perfectly. So I'm finding now with more pens that I try, I'm learning or discovering more the size that I prefer and the talisman is definitely one that I enjoy. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.